All right, guys, I'm back. Let me go ahead and remove this here and um, continue with the second part. Okay, so now our second part here is going to be this beautiful, beautiful box here. Now, here with this one, um, I'm going to see if I can show you real quick. Um, you can go ahead and take your time looking at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful box, you guys, um, that I have altered. Now, um, I, had, I had a lot of fun creating this, putting it together, and, um, and I just hope that she likes it. <laughs> so, let me show you what it looked before. I, I'm hoping that you'll be able to see it, though. But I'm going to show you off of my phone. It was a Phillies box. Okay, let me see here. It was a Phillies box. Um, see that? I will have the original pictures at the end of the uh, video guys okay and in the inside it says 10 cents so I don't know I think it was a pretty old box <laughs> so anyway um, let's go ahead and um and show you this little baby okay here we go uh, here I went ahead and I used, um, I don't know if you can tell, this paper collection here came from my mind, my mind's eye. Woo! Let me use both hands, sorry. My mind's eye, Festive, the mask. And um, I just thought that this one had really, really, really pretty, pretty, pretty vintage paper. And it was going to be perfect for the project that I was about to create or work on, okay? So that was using my mind's eye uh, paper collection. And um, let me just start here. I went ahead and I added one of these little flowers that I, add, um, that I, um, I bought from Walmart. And these are plain white. And these are actually supposed to look, let's see if I have any here. No, I don't have any more, okay. Um, these are actually all white and Walmart carries these and I use my um, my ink dyes by Tim Holtz and did this color here okay and then I used again one of the little um, brads um, let me see yeah that she sent me and um, to put that together and then I just hot glue that and then these little rosies here little roses um, these are a collection that, um, that um, Scrapping Pekingese Scarlet sent me. And then that was also including these little red ones and this pink one and these right here. And then on this side, I don't know if you can see these red ones. This, uh, the, this one here on the edge and then this one over here on the edge, they were actually white. And I painted them to match the, the burgundy one. So I use my ink dies again. And then these, these corner ones here, sorry, these corner ones here, it's like a, a double. Um, I don't know what I got them from, but I took them off for something that were they were attached to. But these are um, put together with some little um, leaves. And it's also this one right here. Using, using the ink dies, I went ahead and I colored them in. And then this one here is just using some of my fabrics that I use to um, make my flowers. And this is one of my first lollipop flowers. And then using one of my uh, black um, glass beads, uh, flat backs. And then again, here we go again with the, um, the feathers from Joann's. And then I added some, some of this real pretty... Um, 
pearl, um, um, little pearl, ah, uh, anyway, you know, that little, this right here, it's the, like a mother pearl, um, pearls, and I added that throughout the box, as you can see, okay, I added that throughout the box, and then onto this side, sorry, my whole hand, and then right here, in front of this rose, I added a, a, a vintage key, added um, the um, the uh, a watch that I had that doesn't work anymore, but I thought that one was very vintage, and I just liked it. It looks so vintage. And um, using one of the brads that she sent me from the collection, I believe it was, um, oh God, um, Oh goodness, what is it? Uh, I can't remember right now, but it has like a little um, Bible um, phrase there, and then um, I put, I held, I um, it's a bread, so it's it goes all the way into the box, and then I closed it at the back, and then I used one of my necklaces that I had throughout my collection of jewelry when I had my store, and um, all I did was I snipped it up here and then I connect them together and then I put them in between you know the brat and then I made it down to where it'll be the um, you know the little um, the little hinge instead of a hinge it'll be what you'll use to open the, the lid and then here um, I simply use one of the little picture frames that I already had it's in silver and then I added a couple of little flowers that I that I had clipped to a bobby pin um, these are little bobby pins that came with little little flowers and I removed them and, and glued them hot glued them there and then back here where the picture slides in this picture here I simply went online and um, I printed this photo and I just thought it was so cute and vintage so I just put some hot glue right here to um, because I, I did try to put and then I put some clear acetate here can you hear that? And um, as a cover, because it had a a, a glass uh, instead of that little piece of acetate, it was glass, and I didn't want to use glass, so I didn't want it to break or anything on you know on its way over there. So and then I added some little a little bit of glue, uh, hot glue right here, just to hold the pictures from sliding out. Because even though I I did some you know cardstock and all that that I stuffed in there, it, the pictures were still sliding out. So. Um, to prevent that, I uh, that's what I did. And then here, these corner here, these corners, uh, I simply used um, a couple of little corner um, embellishments that I already had. And then I added um, some some glass beads, flat backs. And I uh, again, these were like in a a gold color. So I used my ink dyes, and I did both bottom corners. And then here. This is a long, long, long chain that I have, and I have several, and I think I sent some to my Edie girlfriend. Um, I simply just snipped it, and then I went around it and started hot gluing it, and you know went all the way around the box. Okay, and then this here collection, um, this lace here comes with this sequence right here that was sent to me by um, the. Um, Scarlet, uh, by Scarlet, <laughs> by um, Scarlet, uh, Scrapping Pekingese, I'm sorry, I apologize. And then I added again the same, um, you know, necklace, beaded necklace right here at the bottom. And it goes all the way around to the back, you know, all the way around the box, all the way around. Top and bottom, okay, it's at the top as well. And so, when you open it, uh, let me see if I'm not forgetting anything here, I don't think so. So, um, oh yeah, on the flower, um, I decided to use um, some ribbon, really wide width ribbon, and it's the one that has the, the wired edge, so I was able to kind of like bent it in, fold it in, and, um, and make it kind of like wavy, and uh, give it a little bit of dimension, and, and then hot glued my lollipop flower on top. So, let's go ahead and open this, and... Um, the goodies in sight um, are actually some items that I'm going to have to wrap up. But this is the inside, guys. Oops, sorry. I'm 
that's all I need. This is the inside. And again, this is using, let me go ahead and change hands. This is using um, just one of the um, cards that I had of another vintage lady. And then I added, um, again, another one of my little flowers that were attached to like hairpins. And I added some more of that um, Mother Pearl, um, Pearl strands. And then I kind of bent at these to make them vintage. And then I cut, um, distressed the, the edges, okay, on both sides. And then I used different type of paper, see that, to, to cover the lady here. Because if you see this right here, this paper right here, this is a different color. And this is what the whole lid and the inside is, and as, 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 uh, as well as the, uh, the inside of the box. Um, and then right here, I added again another one of those little hairpin um, flowers. Here, I used another necklace that I have. You see that? And I just simply cut, you know, the length from one, from one corner to the other. And I just kind of swung it like a swag. And then over here, I added another one of those little hairpin flowers. And I liked them because they had so much dimension on them. So I used them there. And then I, um, I used another one right here. On the center part of this flower and again this is part of those flowers from Walmart that I just um, used my ink dyes by Tim Tim Holt Tim Holtz and uh, let's see see where the, the the necklace connects and then this is using again one of the uh, ribbons that was sent to me by Scarlet pick the uh, Scarlet Pekingese and um, the scrapping Pekingese I apologize and then I added some more of the, of the you know, um, little pearls. And then, oh, you know what I missed? I'm sorry, let me go back over here. I missed something up here in the front. I forgot to mention this little butterfly here. I bought a strand of butterflies at Walmart one day. And, um, and I decided to add one right here because it looks so cute. And then the reason why I remember was because I added another one right here but this one I used my ink dies by Tim Holtz and I you know inked up that one and then down here I used another flower um, from the same collection by uh, from Walmart I don't know what brand they are I, I, I really don't but they're they're all in white and since I don't have any of those that you guys that you, you know that I see all you youtubers using by I am roses they're so beautiful they're so lovely I still haven't had a chance to order any, so I used some of the ones that I got from Walmart, and I just, you know, put layered one on top of the other to give it a little bit of dimension and to make it full, and then I added again one of the um, um, little hairpins um, flowers right there, and that is pretty much it. I just added a couple more flowers right here from the same collection that... Um, Scarlet, the uh, Scarping Pekingese sent me. I don't know if you can see those. See those little bitty flowers? Okay. Those are really, really cute. I, I don't know if they're from I Am Roses. And if they are, they're beautiful because they kind of um, look similar to, to them. And then if you look inside. Oh, and then I, of course, you already saw this here. And you saw the paper right here. And this is one color. And then the inside is, is another color. See the inside, guys? Now let me go ahead and grab what's inside real quick so I can show you. I hope she loves her goodies. And then the rest of the goodies are stamps. She doesn't know that. She just loves these um, dollar stamps. Um, she loves, loves, loves them because she doesn't have a Joann's where she lives. Look at that. I made it look a little more vintage by adding some uh, more of the alcohol inks by Tim Holtz. Look at that. It's awesome, huh? Now we're going to go ahead and put this down. And then this is one of the, um, the, uh, uh, that I picked up at Michael's. This one I picked up at Michael's. Um, I just thought it was cute. My daughter saw that and she thought it was cute, so I brought it. And then I picked these up. At Joann's just the other day um, for my weekend um, my weekend haul there's that one 
there's this one and this one I like this one right here this lady right there and then I picked up this one be great for fall and I don't know if she has this one because I've sent her so many of the tropical ones but this one's coming to her anyways because she loves tropical I picked up this one at um, Walmart and you've probably seen this one in one of my videos recent videos I picked up this one as well again like I said you guys she just loves these dollar stamps and um, and every chance I get I pick them up for her because she doesn't have a Joanne's where she where she lives and then I just love this one picked up two of these so I have an extra one of these I thought that one was cute and then I made her this also I made her this I thought this one was pretty cute and this one was using um, my um, Sizzix ink dyes the floral and then this right here um, I just used my uh, I think it was one and a half or two inch um, scallop um, punch and I, I the paper is using the um, telephone book paper and then I just use one of the brats that she sent me and I ink dyed that but yeah that's 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 all it is you guys is that um, the phone telephone book and then I went around it the whole tag with some of that um, with some of that um, Oh uh, gosh, what is it called? Stickles. <laughs> and then I used a piece of ribbon that I believe um, Edie girlfriend sent me. And I ink dyed this as well. Okay, using my ink dyes. And then this right here was using one of the pieces of paper collection from the same um, um, My Mind's Eye. And I used one of my rubber stamps that she sent me and it says Dream. And then I used my single letters because I didn't have one that said big. So I had to write the word, uh, spell the word big here. So it says dream big. And then I distressed the edges to this right here. And I was going to do this dimensional, but I decided not to. And then uh, um, behind that border right there, I used another, another cut um, using my, um, my one inch or two inch um, scallop punch. So that's that one. And then, just a minute. And then I went ahead and I did this little miniature um, foil tag using some of my fibers at the top and um, using some of my um, Tim Holt ink dyes, Mona Lisa. I printed her offline, made another little flower right here, another one of her little brads because I had no brads in the beginning. So I'm using mostly all her brads. And then I'm uh, using the, uh, this lace here by uh, Scarlett the scrapping pickinies and then I added the smaller version of my little mini pearls all the way around the tag and then I just dressed not this dress but I uh, use my ink dyes on the back and then this print here the embossing was using um, none of the less Tim Holtz again this one here that I got from Hobby Lobby it was using this one right here I just love the way that that um, turned out and then I um, I made her this one here and this one was using again my mind's eye paper collection and this is a stamp I just got in my in my last rack uh, happy mail by Edie girlfriend um, and I distressed the edge and then I went ahead and folded this to make it look really old and vintage and um, again um, I just bought a bird stamp collection but when she I opened up my my um, my package I saw this bird and I just decided to go with this bird instead the bird stamp so I was so happy and so glad um, and so lucky that she sent it right when I went shopping as well so anyway and then right here I just added another one of the little uh, bows using one of my ribbons and I used the same ribbon here this flower here and these little leaves are none of the less using the little flowers that I've been making. Uh, I've been having so much fun creating these little flowers, you guys. They're made out of clay. And the, oh gosh, what is that uh, name brand? Um, let me get it here real quick. Uh, Sculpey, there you go. The Sculpey clay. Okay, 
and I found my um, the mold the molding to make my own little moldings so I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little fast here because um, I'm running out of time so this is the um, the, the little bird and then I use um, some paper here uh, using the same paper collection and then I use a piece of um, cardstock so that it could be um, sturdy enough for me to uh, bend it and then hot glue it and lift it up and I didn't have to use any of the pop dots and then I used some nice little ribbon right here um, from the collection from one of the the um, uh, I don't know little goodies that she sent me my way one day so and then I use um, one of my chipboard die cuts that I use and I glimmer mist the back with the same um, glimmer mist that she sent me um, by the perfect pearls this one this is the only one I have <laughs> so I glimmer mist that in the back but I, I die cut this with my using my uh, my new Cricut too expression too so I just love the way this one turned out and then last but not least ah, this one here it's almost the same as the little one that I just showed you only we're using here uh, multiple flowers and a couple of mixed colors using my ink dyes by Tim Holtz using the same um, because this was the same um, uh, embossing um, folder by Tim Holtz and then I simply use a Tim Holtz uh, stamp that she um, that I got from I think Joann's and um, and I just used that stamp part right here and then I use this here I cut it off of um, a book by Tim Holtz collection and I simply um, um, stamped the word beautiful there and then I kind of distressed the edges on her and I cut this right here with um, my round punch uh, one inch punch the corners all four corners and then this one right here was from the same paper collection by Tim Holtz and I just put like really slightly um, let's see if I can show you here pop dots right there they're not very um, you know dimensional and then here I used a small version of the um, of the uh, pearls and then I made a couple of little stick pins right here okay and then right here I added some lace that was sent to me by Scarlett at Scrapping Pekingese because I hardly have any of this beautiful little lace and then I added the same little um, but the bigger version of the uh, mother pearl pearls right here so um, that's pretty much it you guys so let me know if you like my video please leave your comments subscribe and I uh, will see you guys real soon Edie girl if you saw this <laughs> oh well I just hope that you like it and I hope that you like it even more once you um, you get it and you actually see it in your hands and uh, using all my ink dyes you guys I am having so much fun with my ink dyes but anyway thank you so much for stopping by you guys and um, I appreciate y'all, um, you know, subscribing, your comments, they mean a lot to me. And maybe real soon I will go ahead and um, make a, um, a little gift um, prize for so many subscribers. But I haven't decided yet what and how many. Okay? Well, we'll see you real soon, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. And God bless.